Hey, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today we're gonna be shooting Barnes Vortex, let me see, 170 grain TSX bullet out of the 350 Legend. And here's your box for that Barnes Vortex 350, well, over here, 350 Legend load. There is your velocity information right there. Here is all of your promo info on the Barnes Vortex line of ammunition. And let's go ahead and take a look at the ammo itself. Barnes usually has some pretty nice looking ammo. Um, it looks like they're using maybe star line brass. It's got the star head stamps. Let's yank one out and take a look. There it is. Got a big old hollow point. I expect this to be a pretty nasty load in terms of expansion. It'll be cool to see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Ranch, chambered in 350 Legend, of course. It's got a 16-inch barrel up top. I've got a Vortex Crossfire 2 scope. And coming on back, I've got one of my 20-round magazine cuffs. You pop that open, you got a 20-round magazine close at hand right there. Really helps turn the Ruger American Ranch into the perfect truck gun, camp gun, anything you could need it for. Coming around to the other side, I've got my whitetail deer design on this one. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would absolutely love to make you one. I will link it in the description and in the pinned comment. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And we're down at the blocks after firing that Barnes Vortex 170 grain TSX load out of the 350 Legend. And I am pleased to report we captured all three bullets and they appear to be just beautifully mushroomed. So let's take a look at penetration. It looks like we got 23 inches, 25 inches, and this one, and eh, we'll give it 26 inches. And you can just see the mushrooms. I can't wait to dig these out and take a closer look. But let's go over here and take a look at the wound tracks. It looks like they start opening up and expanding pretty quick in the block, about the oh, one and a half inch mark really. And they continue to make that wound cavity all the way till about here, till about the eight inch mark. So if that's inside of a white tailed deer, that's gonna do some good damage to it. Let's dig them out and take a look. And let's take a look at the velocities for that Barnes Vortex 170 grain 350 legend load. Our high is 2185, our low was 2157, so pretty tight spread, and our average was 2168. And here we are looking at those Barnes Vortex 170 grain TSX bullets from the 350 Legend as recovered out of the gel. These things just look absolutely perfect, incredible mushrooms. Let's go ahead and jump into it. As far as weight retention goes, we saw 170, 169, and 169 grains respectively for an average of 169 grains, and that's essentially 100% weight retention. Really no surprise there with the TSX bullet. And now on to expansion, and these things just did really, really good here. We saw 0 0.62, 0 0.63, and 0 0.65 inches respectively for an average of 0.63 inches of expansion, and that works out to 1.8x expanded diameter. And I've tested quite a few 350 Legend loads so far. They might not all be live yet on YouTube, but 1.8x is on the higher end of what we're going to be seeing for 350 Legend, so these did incredible. And now on to velocity. Our high velocity was 2185, our low was 2157, and our average was 2168 versus the factory build velocity of 2125. So we actually came in quite a bit faster than the factory build velocity, a nice surprise there. 43 feet per second faster on average. And now on to penetration. We saw 23, 25, and 26 inches for an average of 25 inches of penetration. That is pretty darn good and right up there with some real classic well-performing deer loads of other caliber. 
calibers, I am extremely happy across the board with how this load performed. All right, y'all, time for final thoughts on that Barnes Vortex 170 grain load out of the 350 Legend, the legendary TSX bullet. It just keeps performing, y'all. Keeps performing because I have tested some other ones. The videos aren't out yet, but I, I've got the results in my head. TSX bullets perform across the board. Anyways, let's jump into it. I'm looking at my cheat sheet here. 100% weight retention, par for the course with the TSX. If you'll recall back the video I released just prior to this, that was the Winchester Copper Impact, a very similar load. This load performed much differently than that. Go watch that video if you haven't after this one. That one didn't do very good. This one did excellent. So extremely high weight retention. Expansion was very, very good and very consistent. We averaged 0.63 inches and it was real close to that all the way across the board for all three bullets. 1.8x expansion. That's kind of par for the course for what we're going to be seeing with 350 Legend. I've tested a lot of 350 Legend loads. The videos aren't all out yet. As I'm recording this, they will be very soon. 1.8x is kind of par for the course. That's pretty darn good. And keep in mind, we're starting with a 35 caliber bullet here. We're not talking about a 243. We're not talking about a 270. We're not even talking about like a 308 or 7 millimeter or something like that. The bullet here in a 350 Legend is already pretty wide to begin with, so you don't need super massive expansion to wind up with an expanded diameter that's pretty darn big. And then onto velocity. Now, 350 Legend has been interesting in the tests that I've done. Again, a lot of those aren't out yet, but I had several factory loads that exceeded the factory spec velocity, and this is one of them. So our average was 2168 feet per second versus 2125, that's the factory spec. We came in 43 feet per second faster. Anytime you meet or exceed the spec stated on the box, man, I'm a happy camper. And then penetration. This load really did well, well, across the board, but with penetration as well. Got my cheat sheet. 23 inches, 25 inches, 26 inches. We averaged 25. This load not only expands and hits hard with that velocity, but it penetrates really, really well too. No doubt due to that 100% weight retention, it's got a lot of momentum behind it, to, uh, behind it to punch on through. Sorry, I'm stuttering a little over myself. This load, this particular load really excites me. It's awesome. Um, man, if, if I'm going to be hunting with 350 Legend, this Barnes Vortex 170 grain load is right up there at the top of my list. It might be my top pick for 350 Legend if that's what I was going to be hunting with. And then let's talk about kinetic energy. So with a 170 grain bullet going on average 2168 feet per second, that works out to 1775 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle. 350 Legend, these deer hunting loads, sort of run between 1,500 and 1,700 foot-pounds. Going forward, if you watch the other videos on 350 Legend that I'm going to put out, you'll see that. This exceeded that. We almost hit 1,800 foot-pounds of energy. This is way, way up there on the energy spectrum for 350 Legend which at the end of the day just means that for the bullet weight, it's going pretty darn fast. And so what would I use this load for? Well, if I was hunting with 350 Legend deer hunting, hog hunting, black bear hunting, this Barnes Vortex load is probably my top pick. If you've used this load, let me and everybody else in the comments know how it did for you. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests. I have some big news. Lots of you have emailed me or commented how much value you get out of my videos. And you've asked me, how can you be a part of this and help support the channel? Well, I got to work, and now I have a way. I've created a Patreon account where you can join me in helping our fellow hunters. Click the link in this video's description and watch my Patreon welcome video, where I describe to you how your help will impact this channel and our community of hunters as a whole. And when you join me on Patreon, you'll get a lot more than I can give you here on YouTube. You'll have to go watch that welcome video linked in the description to find out the details. I'll see you there.